Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. This video will demonstrate how to download in control PTFs from eFix and how to upload them to your ZOS system in preparation for applying them later. To get to the eFix PTF distribution site, start from bmc.com support site. Click on downloads and products. Click on mainframe PTFs. Then click on the eFix PTF distribution services link. Make sure the correct environment is selected. For this example, we will be using version 8 of IOA. Set the profile to all FMIDs, the search type to PTF, and status to all. Type in the PTF number in your search arguments. Click the Run pre requisite Analysis above level and make sure the maintenance level on the box is correct. Click the search button. Make sure that all PTFs presented on the page is selected. Then click on download selected PTFs on this page. Make a note of the file that has been downloaded. After the download completes, use Windows Explorer to get into your downloads folder. Please note that the downloaded file would be a zip file. You would have to extract the zip file in preparation for the upload to COS. At this point, you can use your favorite FTP client to upload the files to COS. In this video, we will be using native FTP to perform our upload. It is a good idea to copy the location of our PTF files so we can invoke native FTP from there. To invoke native FTP, start a command from session. CD to the folder where we have our PTF files stored, then invoke native FTP from there. Plug in your ZOS user ID and your COS password. First, we want to make sure that all our uploads are in binary by issuing the bin command. Next, we want to set the characteristics of our target dataset in ZOS by issuing the quote site unit equals CISOLDA, cylinder for space, primary space is one, secondary is one, LRECAL is 80, and the record format is fixed block. Now we are ready to upload our files. First, we'll upload our PTF. And then we'll upload our hold file. After performing the upload, you'd want to be able to make sure that the files were uploaded properly. So you'd want to get on to your ZOS system and bring up the uploaded files. Browse them. You can see that the hold file is readable. And so is the PTF file. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and our YouTube channel for more solutions like this. Thank you.